How do you define a moment? The dictionary says it's a quote unquote, very short period of time. But how short? Short enough you could just miss it? At Cookie Jar, we believe a moment is so much more than a split second. It is the essence of an incredible memory. As such, it can be long, it can be short, it can be endless. A moment can be personal or shared. It can be mine, yours, or theirs. It can be ours. It can make people laugh, make them cry. It can be one look, one song, thunderstorms, city lights, a fleeting kiss in a random bar, a spontaneous dance, or an unplanned summer night. So make them count. Let your moments be alive. Start collecting them with Cookie Jar. A place to capture, share, and relive the moments that matter so that you can remember them better and treasure them forever in a single tap. Hi everyone, my name is Hans and I am one of the co-founders of Cookie Jar, a platform that will change the future of how we interact with our most cherished memories. I'm speaking to you today from beautiful sunny Copenhagen. It is the winter, hence the hat and the jacket. You may hear some seagulls and a bit of swans, but I hope you can focus on me for the rest of this talk. I'm originally from the US, but I moved to Scandinavia when I was 14 years old. I moved up to northern Sweden pursue a career in alpine ski racing. I used what's called the cookie jar method to help me get through the ups and downs of being a professional athlete. The demands on your mentality can be tough. Some days you ski bad, some days you ski great. So I use the cookie jar concept to remind myself of all of my favorite memories, show a little gratitude, and help get myself in the right mindset to continue. Post ski racing, I now live in Copenhagen and I happily use the cookie jar method all the time because everyone needs a bit of gratitude in their life. More appreciation will help you get through your daily ups and downs, regardless if you're a professional athlete or not. I'm sure that some of you have heard of this positive affirmation technique before. Maybe you know the concept from David Goggins or Tim Ferriss. Both of these inspiring men use it in order to remind themselves of their achievements in life and to find gratitude through their past memories. How do they do it? Well, it's a simple trick based on positive psychology, and it's what inspired us to create our cookie jar application. We'll tell you more about this amazing concept after hearing a little bit about the story of my co-founder, Liz. My name is Liz, and I'm also one of the co-founders of Cookie Jar, leading the branding and the community. I grew up in Barcelona, but my parents are German and Peruvian. So essentially, I grew up with three different cultures and four different languages which is something that I'm super, super grateful for. After graduating from business school, I decided to make use of my multicultural background and decided to travel the world. That's when one thing led to another and I became a digital nomad working as a freelance marketeer. For those of you who might not know what a digital nomad life looks like, it's basically combining your work life with traveling full time. So basically you use your laptop and a stable internet connection to just work from anywhere and move your location from month to month. Um, so just to give you an insight of how this looks like, I've lived in 14 different countries in the last four years. The constant changes in surroundings, accommodations and groups of friends can be quite difficult to cope with. So to keep up with all of this, I developed a set of routines and mindfulness techniques that I could perform from anywhere in the world and that could keep me grounded. I mainly focused on journaling, meditating, and expressing my thoughts through different forms of art. As I immersed myself into traveling, I decided to share my journey with people all over the world. That's when I became a self-made travel influencer, and eventually I started sharing my journey with a community of over 40,000 people. At first, I felt really passionate about it, but soon enough I realized that sharing your life online can create a lot of stress and feelings of comparison, anxiety, or FOMO. I'm sure a lot of you have felt the same way when creating an online persona, and it's something that a lot of people have to deal with. Thankfully, I was able to reach back to this mindfulness techniques that I had developed, and it became easier to balance out uh, the exposure I had as a public figure with the intimacy that the techniques provided. Being able to look back on my Polaroids of my travels or read through my journals was something that gave me a lot of strength and was my own version of cookie jar. After four years of being in the public eye and many, many conversations with friends and other influencers about the negative effects of social media, I've come to the conclusion that we really, really need 
and alternative social media platforms with better values and a healthier business model than current social media platforms. And that's why I started Cookie Jar. Since both Hans and I found so much gratitude and clarity from using past memories of ours, we really want to share the magic of Cookie Jar with you. In essence, the Cookie Jar concept is a very simple model to remember the good moments of your life. Those moments that make you feel grateful, connected, happy, peaceful, joyful, or simply proud of yourself. It goes something like this in three steps. First step, get yourself a physical mason jar, and then you can label it however you want. Step two, when something meaningful happens in your life, make sure to write it down on a piece of paper. No matter how small it seems, if it was meaningful to you, make sure to write it down. Step three, fold the paper and add it to your jar. And that's it. Over time, your jar will fill up with this dozens and dozens of moments that will be able to put a smile on your face. So anytime that you feel lonely, sad, or just need a little bit of extra love, you can go back to your jar and refuel yourself with your self-made gratitude notes. That is the cookie jar concept. What we have done at Cookie Jar, the app Liz and I created, is to take this very simple positive psychology technique and make it a thousand times better. We have enriched the notes with many more elements, such as photos, videos, songs, voice memos, even your location. These are what we call the ingredients of a meaningful moment because each of them adds a different taste to your overall memory. We have made this whole experience super easy to use, portable and limitless. You'll be able to create unlimited jars, add unlimited moments to those jars and access them all via a single tap on your phone. Cookie Jar is an app where you can see all your life favorite moments, all organized and beautifully laid out. Think Pinterest for your memories. How cool is that? And most importantly, we have made it collaborative. This means that not only can you store your memories on Cookie Jar solely, but create memories together with the people you choose. Imagine, for instance, that you have a dinner with friends and want to capture the feeling of the evening through the eyes of everyone. Well, by creating a moment on Cookie Jar and inviting specific friends to it, they're able to first see all of the media you uploaded, photos, videos, songs, and combine it with their own thoughts, their own photos, their own videos, so that you get the perspective of everyone that attended the dinner all together, all collaborative into a memory. And that's why creating memories with Cookie Jar is so much fun, because you can relive every single memory from multiple perspectives. You create together, and not individually as you do on social media. Let's see, how many of you journal as part of their daily routines? I'm sure that many of you do. Let's imagine that you could co-write pages of your diary with the people that you choose to. And not only that, but also add sights, sounds, thoughts to it. How cool would that be? Well, that's exactly Cookie Jar. It's like a shared scrapbook of your life. Let's do it right now so you can see how easy it is. Liz and I went on a trip to Lisbon recently and had an absolute blast. I remember one particular morning when we got these traditional Portuguese pastries. They're called pastis de nata. We love them so much. I could, I could easily eat about a hundred of them. They're my complete favorite memory. And now I'm going to create this. It's as simple as adding a few taps and add Liz to it. It was such a great day. Once I receive the moment invitation from Hans, I can open it and directly add to it. For instance, I can write down my thoughts of the day, what I liked, what I will remember, and save it to the memory. I can also add so many more things, like the location of Lisbon where we ate those pastries, so we don't forget about it if we one day want to come back and eat those pastel de natas again. <laughs> I can even record a voice memo of anything that comes to my mind. With a single tap, you start talking and record anything that you want for your future. We were listening to that one song on repeat. I remember it was Aquatic Sunrise. It was so good, still stuck in my head from the trip. Okay, so when are we going back to Portugal? That trip was amazing. <laughs> this is a moment created by us together intentionally. We're the so-called collaborators of a moment because we all contribute a specific piece to the puzzle. And suddenly, with all of those pieces, we have a combined recollection of the day we shared. And it doesn't stop there. 
I even invited our other friends that joined the trip to collaborate on the same moment, and they also added their versions to the story. Of course, I could have just posted a photo to Instagram, but would it really be the same? Would it encapsulate the feeling of the day through all of those different perspectives? I don't think so. It's a completely different feeling to capture moments on Cookie Jar. We substitute the I from social media for we. Suddenly it's we have done this instead of I have done this. Just think about how fun it would be to relive your wedding through the eyes of all your guests or your college graduation through the lens of all your friends. Humans are social animals. We love to share stories. Community is the most precious thing to us. Just think about how many of your all-time favorite memories have been spent completely alone. Probably not so many. So why do we keep using social media in such an individualistic way? Let's bring the power to collective memories. See, what we're trying to do with Cookie Jar is to create a behavioral change in the way we value, interact with, and document our memories. Why? Well, because we think that the way we share and capture our life online right now is a bit flawed. We think, and I'm sure that a lot of you do too, that it is too self-promotional and creates too much negativity. Just look at the rising number of anxiety and depression rates in younger generations and how isolated and lonely they feel. The pressure today's kids have to live in a social media worthy life is so tremendous. They spend their days comparing their lives to others and use filters to enhance themselves. Tech giants have complete control over our attention and time. They're mining our data, monetizing our feelings through endless scrolling, and pretty much controlling our lives. At Cookie Jar, we are changing the narrative, and that's why we're different. We say no to instant gratification, no to scrolling, no to ads, and no to the attention economy or to data mining. We say no to constantly comparing our life to others. And we say no to algorithms that decide for you. Different from most social media platforms, Cookie Jar is private. Content is not created for the masses, but rather kept private between the people inside of a moment or inside a jar. No one that isn't invited to it will be allowed to see the Lisbon moment, for example. And that is exactly what allows our members to remember things in a more raw, genuine, and real way. We always say that with Cookie Jar, the only person that you need to impress is yourself. And it's true. This app is supposed to spread positivity and not negativity. It's about your moments, your happiness, your life. You know, it's supposed to make you feel good and not bad. Similar to the Cookie Jar concept that we introduced at the beginning, we want to recreate that feeling of just taking a piece of paper out of that jar and making you smile. How many of you feel like every time you enter social media, you end up with a rather busy and distracted mind? Well, it's because social media is an information overload for your brain. There's so much content from so many people, oftentimes from people we don't even know or care about. Our brain feels like it needs to keep up with everything, when in reality, its job is to keep up with just your life. Now compare that feeling to being on a plane without service and looking back at old photos from a vacation. I'm sure you've all done that. How did it make you feel? Good? Makes me feel good every time I do that. That's because it feels good to remember your good memories, your personal good moments. We go back to positive psychology here. Positive memories spark positive emotions, which in, t in turn evoke positive feelings right now. Now, how different would we feel if we were to replace all this endless social media scrolling and it's inconsistent spikes of short dopamine hits by something much more long-lasting, meaningful, and personal. Like for instance, going through your camera roll and being grateful for everything you've lived. Every moment you create on Cookie Jar, you sort into a jar that works like a folder. I added my Lisbon moment to my travel jar, for instance. You can create all sorts of jars, a food jar, a creative jar, a sunset jar, a Copenhagen jar, the Surprise Me jar is a very special jar on the top of the screen that when clicked upon, a random moment of your life appears. By seeing it and re-engaging with its content, you will immediately feel happier, not through mindless entertainment, but through your own memories. Here, for instance, I can revisit a camping trip that I did and have a look at my own journal, or 
I can be transported back to a summer memory with my best friends, see who was part of it and who contributed to the memory. Or I can take a closer look at a location I once went to and let my mind time travel to the beautiful experience I had there. I love clicking on the surprise me jar because it's a random shuffle of all my favorite memories. Our mission is to replace mindless scrolling through mindful reliving, one memory at a time. And why is all of this important for you? Because we know you care. You care about your memories, first of all, but also about your mental health and your digital well-being. You care about your data not being misused or mined for profit. You care about your kids growing up in a world that isn't run by tech giants or their growth imperative. You care about being treated as a person and not as a money machine. You care about tech companies caring for you, and we do too. Mindful Tech is built by the visionaries, by all of us. It starts with a clear vision and is put into action by implementing design changes that benefit the well-being and the mental health of the community. Mindful Tech offers ownership to the people and prioritizes their privacy over everything else. It lets them choose instead of choosing for them. And it favors connection over instant gratification. I believe in the future of Mindful Tech. It's why I've spent two years together with my co-founder Liz to put this idea to life. It is why we have built a global team from five different countries working on this project. We welcomed 20 interns over the course of two years to the Cookie Jar family. And we made dozens of partners in the mindful tech space. If there is one thing we would like for you to take out of this talk is this. A shared experience is never made by a single person, but is a combination of everyone that was part of it. It's like this event. We are all a part of it. The memory of this event is a combined memory of each of our own experiences of it. For me and Liz, it is one of our first talks. For our advisor Amy from the Digital Wellness Institute, this is the first time she saw us present Cookie Jar in public. For the incredible Luis Gallardo, is the realization of a project that he and his team have been working on for months. And that's why in honor of the World Happiness Fest, we're launching right here and right now with you a completely new cookie jar functionality called Shared Jars. We're gonna be creating a World Happiness Fest jar and we would love to invite you all to be part of it and tell us what made this event so special for you. Make sure to sign up to Cookie Jar for both iOS and Android and join our World Happiness Jar. You'll be able to find it at the bottom of the home screen in the Discover Jars section. Click on the jar, accept the invitation, and create your favorite moments from this very special event. You'll be able to see other moments in the jar, so feel free to collaborate with the people you haven't met. By combining our perspectives, we can truly relive our favorite memories as a community because memory creation is better together. If you want to change the future of happiness, start by making changes now. Thank you, and that's it from us from the Cookie Jar team. At Cookie Jar, we are. Okay, let me see. Hi everyone, my name is Hans and I'm one of the co founders of Cookie Jar. Bra. Okay. Let's just do one more of that. We would absolutely love to see all of you contribute to the World Happiness Fest jar. Since it is a shared jar, once you accept the invitation to contribute, you will be able to see other people's moments as well as uploading your own. Here you can see that Hans already uploaded the first moment to the World Happiness Fest jar with a recollection of all his favorite moments with the cookie crew. He also added a little thank you note to all of you for listening and being part of this. Because I really like his moment, I can show him appreciation by tapping on the cookie button that is on the bottom left of the screen. And because I'm also part of the cookie crew, I would like to collaborate on this specific moment, add a little appreciation note myself, and thanking you for your time and for listening. It was really a pleasure to presenting you Cookie Jar. Now is your time to upload your moment. What will you add?